So what are your first impressions of your fellows? Good, good. As advertised, you know. Chris has been scouting him for a long time and good passer, reads the game well. So, you know, you, you have to realize that it's his first practice and, you know, he'll get used to his teammates and, you know, the real test will be when we get him out on the field and, you know, we have our full group and, you know, that'll be the first real fair test, I would say, but it looks good. Garth said it's kind of like a statement of intent about Champions League and how you guys are, you know, really trying to go for it this year. Do you see it like that? Like you guys are kind of We've always, loaded. as a coaching staff, have always said every game matters. I've said it personally. That's the way we feel. Every competition, every game matters. So you talked a lot about the versatility of Joe Apollo and what he's able to do, different things in the midfield. How much big of it for you, how attractive is that to be able to shift around your midfield in different ways with him now? Well, again, it's the first day, and I'm going to put him in a spot that I know he can play. Uh, we'll try and see how he fits with Gustav, how he fits with Christian. You know, uh, we'll do a lot of tactical work, build up into the little game against Sac Republic. We'll obviously do a lot more tactical work when we're down in Mexico, and I'll give you those answers as to where he can and cannot play uh, when we have a few more training dates underneath him. For Jordan and uh, Christian, this is the first that they've been back with the team, right? Or? Yeah. Okay, kind of, again, I know it's first, but you know, how do they? Kind they of look sharp. Course. They look very sharp. I mean, we asked them how hard the camp was. They said it was pretty hard. Uh, level's always high. It's a national team. So they're, they're, in, they're in good condition. They're in good physical condition. And mentally, they're happy to be back. Uh, with uh, this signing and Garth uh, intimated there be maybe another one next week, uh, how are you feeling about the uh, depth of your squad at, at uh, various positions? You guys know exactly who you're talking about. <laughs> That's a pointed question. And when and if that signing happens, you'll see a big smile on my face. You feeling more and more confident as the off season goes along, heading into Champions League? About. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> when we get everybody back and together, this will be a good team. This will be a strong group, uh, top to bottom. It will be good. So I am happy. We just need to have everybody here. What are your takeaways of the scrimmages and practices down in Southern California? How did those go? Good, good. You know, again, we had a lot of young kids, almost more young kids than old kids. So that was a little bit of a different dynamic, but we always enjoy that. We always want to see where the young guys are at, how they fit in. Uh, you know, the veteran guys towards the end of the trip, they were a little measured in the game against LMU. You know, they were just ready to go home, but the young kids fired up, ready to play, so it was good. Has anyone stuck out uh, among the young kids that uh, you guys may be looking to, to sign up? I think overall everybody's been pretty good. I would hate to say, you know, this guy, this guy, and leave a name out. But I will give you this. I've been impressed with Atencio. He's, he's developed well in the last six months. Uh, Chris Hegard, you know, a guy who might be going to college, has done well. Shandon's done okay. But all of them, all of them do everything that we ask of them. They're always good kids. They're the last ones here again. They, I'm, I'm watching and, you know, Sam Rogers is picking up all the balls. All the kids are still here trying to get better. So I'm very, very happy with the attitude and mentality of our younger players. This is the first time we've had a chance to talk to you since the tragic helicopter crash last Sunday. I know Kobe was at the event in LA for MLS when you went down there with Nico. Um, did you get a chance to meet him or, or talk to him or, or what no, impact? I did, did not. I did not meet him. I did say something. Uh, Joe, I think, interviewed me on, on on our thing, but I'll repeat what I said. It's a tragic accident for Kobe and his daughter and you know that family, but the other families that were involved in that crash. You know, the the interview that he gave about wanting to win or hating to lose didn't matter because you always want to learn, you always want to get better, failure's not an option. That was a really moving piece for me as a coach to kind of add that to kind of my mentality, my philosophy. From a human's perspective, I have a daughter and I couldn't imagine losing a daughter, you know, the, the, the Bryant family losing a dad and a daughter. 
So it's really been kind of a, you know, really talked about situation that's really sad. And, you know, he's, he went way too early.